Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIBS home school this is Muhammad Imdad al -Hak, assistant teacher of mathematics national ideal english version school day shift dear students today I am going to conduct a math class of class 3 our today's topic is chapter 9 discussion plus EMB page 100 word problem 8 and EMB page 105 word problem 7 these two word problems I will solve in this class today before solving the word problems at first I will discuss about some basic concept of this chapter the name of the chapter is measurement dear students in this chapter measurements of length measurement of length and measurement of weights are discussed here ok dear students measurement in case of measurement of length we know some units you know the unit kilometer meter we can write in full form kilometer meter meter spelling is m e t e r or m e t r e both are correct in your book that is written m e t r e kilometer meter centimeter millimeter these four units are discussed in your book ok dear students and relations among these units are shown here dear students you have to remember that basic or main unit of measuring length is meter main unit is meter main unit is meter ok dear students I will show some relation among these units 1 kilometer in short we can write km kilometer that is 1000 meter 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters centimeter can be written in short cm centimeter and 1 centimeter can be written as 10 millimeter millimeter in short that is written mm these are the relations among these units ok dear students remember this and here I have written measures of weights it means that in this case, in this case the main unit of measuring weight is gram and in this book of class 3 you will learn two units here that is kilogram that is larger than gram and another one is gram dear students gram is the main unit of measuring weight gram ok dear students now I will show the relation among this between these units between these two units kilogram and gram the students 1 kilogram we can write in short kg equal to 1000 gram 1000 gram gram in short we can write gm so we can say 1 kg equal to 1000 gram ok dear students dear students in this case to weigh the different types of things or items 
to measure the weight we use different weights see the standard weights used in our country these are the standard weights this is the smallest 5 gram 10 gram 20 gram 50 gram 100 gram 200 gram 500 gram and 1000 gram means 1 kilogram these are the standard weights given in your book and now depending on this information i will solve these two questions two word problems i have written okay dear students now see the questions first question from mb page 100 question 8 solution we can write solution question is when rohima begum weighed some quantity of rice she used two weights of two weights of 1 kilogram one weight of 500 gram and two weights of 100 gram it means that three she used three types of weights first one is kilogram then gram and then again gram okay now see how can we solve this and what is our question what was the weight of that quantity of rice so we have to know which weights are used by rohima begum so we can write now the students we know one weight of one kilogram is one thousand gram. Therefore, Rohima Begum used two weights of one kilogram. So, we can write two weights of one kilogram is, so we have to multiply 1000 by 2. This will be gram. Okay, dear students, if we multiply, just we have to multiply 1 and 2. That is 1 to the 2. 3 0 here we can write 3 0 now gram ok dear students again she used one weight of 500 gram so we can write one weight of 500 gram is 500 gram Okay, dear students, then she used two weights of 100 gram. And in the last, at last, she used two weights of 100 gram. One weight of, weight of 100 gram is 100 gram therefore two weights of 100 gram is product of 100 and 2 gram this will be 1 to the 2 to 0 here the students, she used two weights of one kilogram, one weight of 500 gram, two weights of one gram. It means that if we add these three measures, we will get the total amount of rice, total quantity of rice. So, we can write, therefore, 
the total quantity of rice total quantity of rice that will be sum of first first one is 2000 then 500 and then 200 we have obtained gram so we can write here do the sum 0 0 and 0 that is 0 0 0 and 0 that is 0 2 5 7 and 0 7 now here is only 2 2700 gram so our required answer for question 8 is 2700 gram this is the total quantity of rice weight by Rohima Begum. Okay, dear students, let us see the next question. Next question I have written from EMB page 105, question 7, word problem 7. The question is the weight of a bag of potato is 2 kg 750 gram. How can the bag be weighed with least number of measuring weights. The students to find that we have to remember that always we have to try to use the larger weights. Okay, see. The students we have to use the least number of Weights. We have to use the least number of weights. Okay, dear students, now see. As we have to use Least number of measuring weights. So we can express the given weight two kg seven hundred fifty gram as follows we can write this 2 kg 2 kg means 2 kilogram we can write 2 kg plus 750 gram we don't have any weight of 750 gram we have the weight of after 1 kilogram we have the weight of 500 gram so we can write 500 gram and then if we subtract 500 from 750 we'll get 250 gram but there is no weight of 250 gram we have the weight of 200 gram so we can write 200 gram 200 gram and then 50 gram left so we can write 50 gram as we have the weight of 50 gram. Dear students, I have shown you the weights. We have the weight of kilogram, we have the weight of 500 gram, we have the weight of 200 gram and we have the weight of 50 gram. So we can write in this way. 2 kg means 2 multiply by 1 kg and 500 gram means we can write 500 1 multiply by 500 gram and 200 gram means as we have the weight of 200 so we can write 1 multiply by 200 gram and 
50 gram means 1 multiply by 50 gram. It means that 2 kg means 2 weight of 1 kg. 1 into 500 gram equal to 500 gram means 1 weight of 500 gram. Here, 1 weight of 200 gram, 1 weight of 50 gram. In this way, we can measure. So, we can write that is that is the bag be weighed the bag be weighed by using Two weight of two weight of one kilogram. One weight of two weights of one kilogram, one weight of five hundred gram. One weight of two hundred gram and one weight of one weight of fifty gram. The students if least number of measuring weights are required, in that case, you will get the required answer as this. Okay, dear students, I hope you have understood our today's lecture. Dear students, in this lecture, your homework is question 8 of EMB page 100. This is your homework 20. Do this homework in your homework copy and submit your homework on next Sunday. That's all for today. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. Stay home. Stay safe. See you again. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.